I am now introducing Insane Ian. Achievement unlocked! Greetings, Internet, and welcome to another episode of A Comedy Musician Reacts. My name is Insane Ian. I am a comedy musician and comedy music fan, and on this show I react to comedy music from the perspective of a comedy musician. Because that's what I am, and that's what I do, and that's why you're here, and that's what this is, and that's why this week I am reacting to the 2024 remake of Amateur Wordsmith by The Stupendium. If this is your first time here, yes, I am a comedy musician. I react exclusively to comedy music because that's where my field of expertise is. And what that means to you is that I'm going to pause the video. Kind of a lot, actually. This way I'm not laughing or talking over jokes and missing them. This way I can discuss how the, the lyrics and the video work in tandem to elevate the jokes. And sometimes that means explaining jokes, because that's always fun for people, and sometimes that means just sitting back and laughing my damn head off. It's a crapshoot whatever you're going to get, but I think it's a good time either way. If this is uh, the kind of thing that you like, please like, share, comment, subscribe, do all the things to feed the algorithm to get more eyeballs onto these videos, and if you really want to help the channel out, consider supporting me on Patreon, where patrons get to see these videos early, my comedy and music early, and all sorts of other cool perks. But all of that out of the way, let us dive into today's video. Now this is the video that Stupendium released to celebrate hitting one million subs. Congratulations once again, Stupendium. Uh, that is a hell of a landmark. Uh, I hope to one day also hit that. Uh, not happening anytime soon, although I am very close to 25,000 subs, so thank you to everybody who has subscribed. Um, but uh, this is a video that I reacted to the original version of years ago. Uh, I have reacted to the original version of Amateur Wordsmith that is on my channel in the Stupendium playlist. The playlist will be linked at the end of this video, of course. Um, but this is a remake. This is not a remaster. Uh, Stupendium has remastered some of their tracks over the past couple of years, uh, one of the Hitman tracks, uh, I think one of the Bendy tracks, and I think uh, House Always Wins uh, got a remaster. This is not a remaster, this is not improved, just improved audio, this is a completely remake of the song. I've done that with a couple of songs myself, so I can appreciate that kind of idea, uh, because, uh, I'll be honest, when I reacted to it in previous time, the previous version of the song, some of the jokes may have not landed, some of the things may have been a little outdated. And updating a song like that for something like this, especially since that was pretty much their first song on their channel as The Stupendium, um, updating that kind of thing for this kind of landmark makes a lot of sense. But anyway, let's dive in. And if you're not subscribed to Stupendium, do that too. And there goes the stash. And everything. In 2016, I released the first song on this channel. It wasn't very good. <laughs> I will argue against that. I don't think it wasn't... I don't, I don't think it was bad. It wasn't very good is subjective. I think it's a good song. I think... Their work since then is way better. Even the song they did directly after this one was better. But that's not to say it's not a good song. It has its merits. And as an introduction to the stupendium, it is a, a an interesting starting point. But obviously, we're updating that. See, I told you I'd be pausing. December 10th, 2023 hit 1 million subscribers, so I made it again. Hopefully better. About how good they are at rapping? I'm better than I used to be. Uh, there was this transition on the screen there. That was really good. So it went from the old video. Seems a lot of rappers like to rap about how good they are at rapping. Which is almost how that original song started, was with that line. I'm better than I used to be, but I still had to be dishonest with you. <laughs> the mustache was CG. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> hate to be dishonest, so away with the false pretenses. Better than I used to be, but I still hate to be dishonest with you. So hip hop's a new hobby I'm attempting, but there's a hiccup that beats circumventing a nigger in the middle of the job of my dreams. A matter of lack of practice when exploring the themes. I can't rap about bitches and hoes, bitches and clothes, beating up and leaving stitches in foes. I'm not. We've. I don't remember if we went full. 
uh, Fresh Prince of Bel Air with the visuals in the last one, but that is exactly what we're emulating here with the chair and the almost the outfit uh, and the graffiti on the wall, and that is fantastic. Already, this is starting out um, better than the the previous version. Just their wordplay is so crisp and good and precise and it's it's amazing it's it's just good stuff it's like a, a niggle in the middle of the job of my dreams uh a niggle in the middle of the job of my dreams uh niggle meaning uh i don't know it's it's a it's it's a slang term meaning like something that's gnawing at you Something is niggling at the back of your neck or is gnawing at you. I, I, I think, I think that's what that word means. So it, 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 it has the same cadence as middle. So a niggle in the middle is carrying the rhyme scheme through. Um, but uh, niggle's not a word that you hear very often because it sounds too similar to another word that is problematic. I will let you fill in that blank. When hip hop was in its 90s era, absolutely. I don't think we hear a lot of that in hip hop much anymore. Um, in the gangster rap era, era of hip hop, yeah, that's you heard that prevalently through a lot of them. But there were still definitely artists who did not uh, go al along those topics for their, their rhymes, especially actually in the artists that you're emulating there. Will Smith, the Fresh Prince, definitely didn't do a lot of that because he was rapping in the gangster rap era and not doing gangster rap. So, you know, it's it's a diff specific subgenre for certain. And uh, there are certainly songs now that do kind of lean toward those tropes, and a lot of the stuff that they play on the radio doesn't. So, I mean, a lot of the SoundCloud rappers don't really lean that way either. Um, and yet, there are some nerdcore rappers who lean that way. It goes across all of the gamuts, and, uh, you know, we appreciate it in all its forms. <laughs> Just some great lines, but uh, what do I spout if not some needless egotism? That that is the thing that you get the most uh, often in hip-hop songs is just the braggadocio just artists being braggadocious and 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 bragging about how good they are i'm a lyrical miracle that kind of thing um i mean mc frontlot has has a, a song called braggadocio uh about his you know bragging about himself uh so yeah you definitely see that kind of thing flowing through in a lot of different circles of hip-hop uh yeah yeah, okay, that makes a lot of sense. Hey, I'm remaking the song about how I was an amateur wordsmith and how, I, you know, in that song I'm not really... I don't feel like I'm living up to even being an amateur wordsmith, and now that I'm remaking this song, I'm changing all the lyrics, but my Google Home just started yelling. That's weird. I hope one of the cats didn't do something crazy. I have a new kitten. Um, anyway, with all of the things going on with this, uh, like, that made me lose track of where I was. Uh, what was I trying to say? 
oh yeah, with remaking the song, changing the lyrics, you know, is it really a, does it really count as a remake if you're changing everything? And also, since you've improved as a rapper, does that really fit the theme of the song that you were doing where you're an amateur wordsmith? You've just hit one million subscribers. It's not really fair to call you an amateur anymore at this point. Um, but yes, obviously, self-awareness is key, and I love self-aware humor. I, that's that's really what hits me in the sweet spot is self-aware and meta humor. I love that kind of stuff. So being aware about how ridiculous the concept of your song is in the song itself always hits with me. It's a big decision. Well, you can your bitch in. If I could be forgiven, tell me who just hit the million. I did. So I'm in a position and I sit and swivel on my lyrical juxtaposition. Sit and swivel on my lyrical juxtaposition is a fire bar. That's amazing. And also, the flex of holding up the one million plaque. Bravo. Love that. And also, I, I wanted to say it earlier, but I didn't. Love in every fit that's in this. All the different outfits. Absolutely baller. Um, and of course, Stupendium Orange going through as, as the top tier. Um, because if you got to stay on brand, you got to stay on brand. Um, so that is magical. Magical stuff. Uh, <laughs> all right. I'm going to pause here real quick because I'm worried that the cats did something. So, pausing. I'm back. Everything's fine. Moving on. <laughs> Here's five minutes you won't get back. That's a short stupendium song. Um, kept the chorus from the original. Dig it. <laughs> that's a lot of references to previous videos. <laughs> that's that's pretty great. Also, I love the scepter of stupendium with the glasses on the top. That's great. Also, okay, wow, we jump. We did an immediate jump from like the orange to this. Uh, I can't go back. Everybody keeps telling me to hit the 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 period and the comma keys to go by frames. It doesn't work for me for whatever reason. It doesn't work. I'm sorry. So there's that one. I don't. I recognize it, but I don't recognize it. Like, I, I, I can't place in my head where it's from. And that's going to bother me, and I'm sure people in the comments will just name all of them because Stupendium fans are great like that. Um, okay, well, but the helmet and that, that seems like that's from one of the recent factory ones. Um, and then the one previous to that, I can't even remember what it was because it went by so fast. One of them has got the toy box in there, and then there's that one, which is... I want to say that's the uh, cyberpunk one, kind of. Yeah, I think so. That's Pizza the Action. Oh, I know the written one after it, I think, with Pizza the Action also. <laughs> so, yeah, a lot of good fits going on. <laughs> Is that... that might be only cans. <laughs> or at least that reference might be. Um, who's the tailor? Is that McGuire as the tailor? I can't tell. Somebody else will tell me, I'm sure, or they'll say it at the end of the video. But, uh, also, again, these bars are fire, so. Yeah, of course they signed a waiver and they got smacked. <laughs> Man, also the editing on that, just getting every pose and the movement down back again when it was more rapid. Um, just all those match cuts still fitting together with that is amazing editing and choreography. Uh, it's a tiny element that, you know, you don't really realize is so cool while you're watching it. But yeah, that's an incredible feat of editing and, and filming. Hold 
my cufflinks, the, the, my, my amount of cufflinks are disgusting. My sleeves hold them better, even better than my rhyming. Something like that. Uh, you, you guys heard it. Um, those are great lines. Uh, and some of this is, is similar to what was in the previous song, too. Um... <laughs> Want to talk about chains to my pocket watch swing? I feel like was in the original song. I could be wrong. It has been years since I've listened to it, but I feel like that line was in the previous song. But it's also a great transition using the pocket watch. <laughs> that that is so great that is so wonderful it's so self-aware so between the original song and now stupendium has updated their pronouns uh so uh, and updated how they wish to be identified. So, even when referencing lines from the song... If you need a dapper rapper, I'm your them If you need a dapper rapper, I'm your them G. Because they go by they, them pronouns now. Uh, obviously switching up to what was in the previous version, which doesn't quite fit the next rhyme. G, I'm going by across the porch, <laughs> and so the delivery, the delivery of that line, <laughs> because, you know, you know, it, it's supposed to be Jumanji, and whatever would rhyme with Jumanji uh, in the previous version. So when they say Jumenji, like, as a, like, with a question at the end of it, because they realize it doesn't fit the rhyme scheme, the character realizes it, absolutely genius, very, very funny. Uh, and again, very self-aware kind of stuff. I love that stuff. Uh, <laughs> just gonna take it back and watch that again, because that's great. <laughs> also, not true. Rhyming... Uh, Stupendium's rhyming is incredible. And some of the most out-of-the-world, out-of-the... out-of-concept that I, rhyming I've ever heard... Rhyming things, I almost want to say they're the Tom Lehrer of rap. Coming up with rhyme schemes that, that I've never heard be used as rhymes before. Uh, and I, I mean that as a extremely high compliment. If those of you who don't know who Tom Lehrer is, Tom Lehrer is a, a musical comedian from the uh, 50s and 60s who uh, did uh, three amazing albums and then retired and went back to being a math professor. Um, and uh, actually, I just recently covered, me and my friends at The Fump recently put out a tribute album to Tom Lehrer's work because, uh, Tom Lehrer's work, because he just released all of his recordings and songs into the public domain, so anybody can cover them. Um, but an amazing lyricist, and uh, the way Stupendium crafts rhymes reminds me a lot of Tom Lehrer, so... I mean that as a compliment, Stoops, if you're watching this, which I'm fairly certain you you will because you're on my Patreon. But uh, and thank you uh, if you do, if you do watch this. I mean that as the highest compliment. So. And they reference it. The, the scheme doesn't really work now that I'm NB. Non-binary. Oh, so good, man. And also, for people who don't follow them on Twitter, or X, or whatever you want to call it, uh, or any of the other social networks that they're on where they have mentioned that they're NB, um, and has missed that, there it is right there in song form, in a video, so you can't say you've missed it by now, unless you don't watch the song, and then obviously that makes sense too. But, yeah, that's the thing. I love the rewinds, where it's like, 
throwing in, like, I feel like those are references to the original version, too. Like, especially that outfit. I think that outfit was in the original one. Or, the, or no, it's them hitting skip because they just said hit skip. I get it now. Things. <laughs> Some great rhymes here, but that sandwich full of pens. Genius. It's just so funny. Uh Schemes thick like my pen raided the pantry and just wrap beef pantry you go to the pantry to get food or wrap beef and my scheme my wrap schemes are so thick at double C thick like I raided the pantry my, my pens raided the pantry because you write with a pen and pens in a sandwich because you put the wrap beef from the pantry yeah couldn't think of the word to say of like similes and uh, words that have the same meaning but uh, puns maybe puns maybe puns maybe <laughs> fast and furious Fletcher and Shaw I'd see it. Okay, that I, I have to go back to that because Queen Vic, how my bars flame up and fans weep. Um, Queen Victoria, um, how my bars flame up and fans weep. They're there holding the pint. Was the Queen Vic a bar that went up in flames? Maybe? It's a reference I don't quite get, but I recognize that it's clever, at least. I don't know. Um, niche mix like I'm featuring Statham and Lansbury is such a great, hilarious rhyme. Uh, a, a niche mix, meaning something that is so very niche, so very specific you know it's it's something being niche is mean it's mean it's it's a uh, not widely followed or not uh it's not in the broad public uh so i have being something very niche is something a, a niche interest is meaning an interest that not many people have so a niche mix would be a, a mix of things that you wouldn't expect jason statham angela lansbury it's great rhyme uh, I, I think I broke down the definition okay. I could be wrong. I'm sure you'll tell me. <sighs> That's the internet for you. <laughs> Feet pics, you see me making a fansly. Uh, I don't think I need to explain that one to anybody watching this, and if I do... You're too young. Um, or too old. That's entirely possible as well. But uh, just having that be one of the rhymes, too, is great. It's niche mix, feet picks. Just why not? Yes, anything goes. It's, it's comedy. And in comedy music, anything goes. Because comedy is funny. You know, I actually prefer the original. Run it back. Uh, I feel like I feel like that's from the original one, and cause, especially since they said I, I like the original scheme better. Run it back. Um, but the costumes here have been updated, and that is an amazing Q costume. John Delancey played Q in Star Trek: Next Generation. That's an amazing bar. Just that whole section there is so good. Another white guy, just a bit of nice guy. Another white guy. Perfect. No notes. Waiting in the queue instead of uh, Q U E U E, or uh, as Jazz Emu would pronounce that, the Kwewe. Um, <laughs> but waiting in the queue, or C U E sometimes, depending on 
where you are and how you spell things. Um, what part of the country you're in, how you spell things. Uh, the queue, meaning like in the line queue, queuing up to be in line, whatever. Sometimes they call that the queue, sometimes they spell it differently. Just going with just a queue, being John DeLancey, Star Trek Next Generation. Words have meanings! Occasionally. Another white guy, just a bit of nice guy. Think the rhymes are quite fly, but just nothing you would have if all flip the drive bys for lyrical fine dining. Flip the drive bys for lyrical fine dining. Again, going back on the tropes of, you know, gangster rap being what it was, and flipping it to rhymes about, you know, how the drip is, how your how your dress is, and uh, rapping about things that they know about fine dining and fancy dress. Great. Green on the mic, peak your appetite. Turn it off. No. <laughs> Green on the mic, peak your appetite. Herbivore. Because <laughs> you know herbivores are, are basically vegetarians. Uh, green on the mic meaning, you know, they are green on the mic meaning they're green meaning new to it. You know, somebody says you're a little green meaning you're you're an amateur, you're a rookie. Uh, green on the mic, they put a little parsley or, or some other garnish on there that is green. So it's more wordplay. I dig it. I like it a lot. Lots of ties. I make salads from the leaves of the sauruses. Holy shit! That's a fucking bar. Pardon my language. Holy god. That is incredible. That is a great bar. Okay, so pages are sometimes known as leaves. And a thesaurus is a book that gives you, if you're looking for a word, but you don't quite want to use that particular word, it gives you other words that mean the same thing. So a thesaurus is a book full of words that mean the same thing, but other words for them. That's a terrible way of describing it. I had it right the first time. Um, but all of that out of the way, uh, that is that makes that bar an absolute banger. That is an amazing Bar. And also, now that we've paused on this, there are all of these references to other Stupendium songs. We've got Just the Five of Us, which was the uh, Doki Doki Literature Club song. Uh, WASD, I feel like, uh, might be um, from the chairman of the board, but it, you know, WASD is the movement keys on a keyboard when playing a game. Toy Box, obviously. House Always Wins in the corner there. I don't quite see what that one is. Um, there's a couple couple I'm not, I don't quite recognize. Um, but yeah, microphones and hats and music notes and fire and tic-tac-toe. Alright. Slide into the void is behind the chair there. Um, yeah, references. <laughs> Um, let's take it back here for a second. There's a tape that could be from Toybox. Also, the juiciest flows are squeezed out of oranges. Has... It's an amazing line, but it also has another meaning for stupendium, because they wear a lot of orange. So... Squeeze them and you get the juiciest flows. Don't... Don't squeeze them. That I didn't mean it literally, but don't do it un unless you know they give you permission for a hug. But you know, be gentle. Don't don't just go up to people and squeeze them. That's wrong. I'm watching you. Um, but yeah, no, it's a great bar. <laughs> <laughs> Abdegarian. I see that word. And I think A, B, C, D, Aryan. Abdegarian? I don't know what that means. Sure, someone will tell me. But Abdegarian Apprentice Aspirant Admissible. Admissible, acceptable, and adequate. And acceptable and adequate and average. They're all... They're all words you would find in a thesaurus when looking up average. Or amateur wordsmith.
I get it now. I understand. It relates to the bar that came before. Yay! Wait a second. We had we got more references visually there. The three cues is just welcome to space, spooky, scary. There's Cosmo, uh, which is the the bird pendium, a pizza, the action, rhymes. Uh, gotta have it, gotta have it, which is from uh, Ad Infinitum, that song that broke me, that I still get comments on. Um, something so twee, I can't quite make out what it says there. Um, yeah, lots of good stuff. Stoops heart desks. <laughs> uh, yeah, so there was a, a Stupendium made a YouTube short and a TikTok of uh, things that you will find in a lot of Stupendium videos. And uh, Stoops at a desk is one of them. That's great. Uh, <laughs> Who could have guessed that me reacting to a Stupendium song would be going on for as long as it is? Oh, I don't know, only every other Stupendium video I've ever reacted to. Playlist at the end of this video. Yeah, they're all long. How I get this cons question all the time. How can you take uh, a three to five minute song and make a 15 minute video? And then when it gets to Stupendium songs where they're like five to nine minutes, they reach into like half an hour, hour long reactions. A, because I can never shut up, and B, C, A. Yeah, for me now it's longer than five minutes, obviously. <laughs> actual real university the stupendium actually useful degree useful degree in genuine contribution to society I say this a lot I uh, I have no marketable skills I have I have my my high school diploma uh, I I don't have a college one I don't have a college degree does this surprise anyone no uh, I was a theater major and uh, I went to uh, a two-year school for four years uh, and uh, I, I never, never finished that. Um, oh well. But also, I have no marketable skills. I have a lot of trivia up here about minutia and pop culture. I can't get a job with that. That's why I'm on YouTube. When I started this video, I did not expect to see the stupendium as LGBTQ icon, the Babadook, but uh, I'm I'm here for it. That's great. Um, this whole verse is fantastic. Also, the visual of the sauce going on the mini stupendium and the the color flow of that outfit, bravo, excellent. The Rapaduke. Instead of the Babaduke, the Rapaduke. That it's great. Just a great play on on the name. Just yeah. Fishing for compliments without a catchy hook. Now. That sounds familiar. I think that was in the last song I reacted to, uh, Dead Ahead, the Dredge song that they did, and I was told in the comments of that one, that line was a reference to the original Amateur Wordsmith. It's all, it's all coming together now. It's all circular. It's all... Everyone's here. I don't know. That's not the Smash reference I wanted to make. No, it's, uh... No, it's all connected. It's the MCU word that I wanted to make. And yeah, that's it. I was referencing one thing and not the other. It's uh, reference. <laughs> yeah, we never dropped the mic. 
for real. They're expensive. Some really great lines there. Any mic drops accidental, obviously. Hit my street cred limit and my flover draft. Just come on. Those that that's clever as shit, man. Street cred, meaning, you know, your your ability be to be to be recognized on the street. Street cred, you know, having but taking the word cred and having it mean credit, so you ha hit your credit limit. And so you've you become overdraft, but it's rap, so it's flow overdraft. So like you know, if you're a popular rapper, you have you know for being you know down to earth, you have street cred. Uh, so or you know being <laughs> listened to by people in the street, you have street cred. Um, so <laughs> having have you having hit your street cred limit, and now you're flow overdraft, marrying money and uh, lingo together just it, it's great it's a great bar it's a great bar and if I'm making paper meaning earning money uh, or literally making paper it's only crafts because I'm making the paper into something yes great the only pigment here is medium <laughs> Man, oh, so good. Like, you know, the, the typical making fun of the, the white person rapping thing, but flipping it a little, making it not so overt as to be referencing that. But lead, that leading up to the only pigment here is meaty okra, because okra is a color. Mediocre, meaty okra. All of that leading up to that punchline. And then the Bob Ross outfit. Come on. That's so flippin' good. Oh my god, so many good bars. Again, uh, going back to the... It's weird to see a white person rapping. It isn't anymore. Um, but uh, going on onto that trope against, which is what the original song was based a lot on. Um, but some of those bars are so good. And also, winging it like a seraphim is a killer line. Because the seraphim are the choir of angels. They have wings. So I'm winging it like seraphim Holy shit, that's a great line. And the only reason I know what seraphim are from dogma, I went to Catholic high school for four years. I, nah, no, I learned it from Kevin Smith. Nah, pop culture, again, that's all that's up here. Ah. <laughs> I, I don't... It, it, it's just so good making a, an American Robin Hood because you know Robin Hood is you know takes place in England because he's fighting uh, Prince John and uh, just making Robin Hood American by giving them a gun instead of a bow and arrow and a hot dog and, and a big big old America hat. Uh, that's just that's just a that's that's a wallpaper right there. That's that's beautiful. I man, it's just it's sometimes sometimes not every time, but sometimes it can be hacky and a little trite to reference, oh, you know, songs have to rhyme and I don't like when they rhyme and now this next line won't rhyme with the previous ones. Um, you get a lot in comedy music. You get it a lot in other music, too. And some people can view 
every instance of that as, as trite and hacky, and I don't. It's really on a case-by-case -case basis with, with me. Case-by-case -case basis with me. Sometimes I can't, uh, the tongue doesn't work. Uh, it's, it's a new, I lost it in the war, I had to get it replaced. Um, so, like, sometimes uh, they work for me and sometimes they don't. This time, clearly, it worked for me because I laughed. Um, and that's always the good judge of it. If it comes out, if you're not expecting it and it hits you, it's great. That's what happened. I over-explain things sometimes. I don't know if you've noticed in this almost 40-minute video. Did he have a master, but like a massive car crash, I'm slowly moving past it. Now we're at the point I really didn't want to start yet. Let us now revisit the obligatory fast bit. Um. <laughs> so yeah, so in the original song... Because, like, some of the things that are that are happening in this, they, they've they remade some entire verses, or at least mo a majority of lines in some verses. And some of them are coming over complete, and some of them are coming over only slightly changed. And now we've reached the section where, in the original, they did a fast bit, and now they're going to do it again, and now they have, you know, uh, self-awarely mentioned that now we've reached it, and I didn't want to do it again. <laughs> <laughs> Which is great. Just uh, I, I I'm looking forward to the fast bit because the fast bit was very impressive last time, and whenever they go fast, it's always impressive anyway. So buckle up, kids. <laughs> <laughs> I had to stop there because of the thing about Dan Bull. <laughs> But I have now featured with Dan Bull. Uh, I think that's a, a reference about wanting to feature with Dan Bull in the original one, and like, there's all the songs that they've done together. <laughs> oh, I love it. That's so good. <laughs> The music is almost swallowing up all of these fast lines. Like, it's it's overpowering the vocals, and I think that's, like, done purposely here, because they're, it, it makes it seem like they're just kind of rambling off into the ether where the music is just kind of overcoming it. Um, it's, it's more of a creative choice than, you know, bad mixing or something like that. Uh, at least that's what I'm hearing here. Uh, I mention that because usually in stuff like this, especially in comedy music, for me, mixing is a very important thing. You want to hear the vocals over the music because the vocals are where the jokes are, um, and especially in a song like this. So having that be the conscientious choice, the conscientious choice to uh, have the music overpower this section um, to drown it out a little bit because it seems like you know. They're rhyming for rhyme's sake, and a lot of it is just kind of trailing off into, like, you know, nonsense words. Not nonsense words, but nonsense uh, ideas, I guess you could say. Because the words are all real words. They're just anything that rhymes we're stuffing into that pot. Uh, you know, it, it's an interesting uh, auditory choice. Yes, and again, it's getting alliterative, which they said right there. Uh, so a lot of L words coming through, and the L sound uh, being prominent, especially in alliterative. And all of that leading up to taking the L. So good, because everything had the L with the alliteration on the L words and taking the L. Literally. I didn't mean it quite so literally with the L there, but because L and literally. You get it. That's great. That's great. All of that was great. Wow. 
fantastic. Again, like I said, I hadn't listened to the original one since I reacted to the original one. So uh, there may have been more of the original in that than I thought. Obviously, I did recognize some, some new things. I may have missed some other things that may have been from the original. Um, but now we're getting into stuff that they apparently left out of the original, or so they say. I appreciate I've kept you for some time Without boobs or a reference to gun crime I played the beats <laughs> and I added some fun rhymes But need to concede they're still lacking a punchline <laughs> Or perhaps not <laughs> One million subscribers is uh, Before we get into that That is an incredible song uh, That's where we hit the five minute mark and so the next remaining minute and 25 is uh, Stoops going out and I think thanking people for the 1 million subs. That was the song itself. We're going to watch that, of course. Um, but, man, that song was phenomenal. Okay, here we go. An incredible milestone. And what better way to celebrate it than by giving me your money? <laughs> the song Pretend Money. It for Stupendium 1 million subscribers, Stupendicoin. Each with a hand-signed and numbered certificate of authenticity, this stunningly presented collectible is strictly limited to an addition of just 250. So, all right, while I'm watching this, uh, this video came out yesterday. I'm watching it on Saturday. Um, and you guys will see it on Friday, unless you're on my Patreon, you'll see it before then. Um, they've already sold out of these. I saw on Twitter that Stupendium has already sold the initial 250, not realizing, not even thinking that they would go so quickly. So they may be doing a second run of that. Uh, they will say the second edition on those, so as not to interfere with the collectability of the first run. Um, you know, so the, you know, when they want to make more than 250, but they will show that they are the second run. Um, so this this ad doesn't apply anymore because they've sold out of the 250. <laughs> 249 if you found the fact that I'm keeping one. The stupendy coin. It's the only currency that buys my approval. <laughs> Thanks for watching. And thank you to every single one of my patrons, past and present, for supporting the channel and making videos like these possible. Wow. One million subscribers is such an insane number to even process. If you told me almost There's a decade a ago as I was filming the original amateur wordsmith against a green sheet pinned up after hours in an unused room at the office I worked in because there wasn't room in my bedroom, but one day wow. I was remaking it in a fully fledged studio with the support of a million people, I think my brain might have just exploded. Hey, my name! I am honored that I get to do what I do for a living, and I couldn't do it without every single one of you. Thank you. If you enjoyed the song, then check out the playlist for more, and if you're feeling brave, check out the original version. And be sure if you're feeling brave, check out the original version. <laughs> so yeah, so I do follow this stipendium on Patreon. I don't think I'm on the tier to be in the credits anymore, but because they were thanking every patron they've had, my name was there again. Um, not that I was initially looking for it, but it was right there on the bottom. Like, you know, right at the very end. It's hard to miss it. Um, so that was cool, but, uh, was not expecting that. That's excellent. Uh, man, this song is so good. Do it to like, comment, subscribe, ring the bell, of all course. that good stuff. Gosh, this outro's been long with the coin, the thank yous, the patrons, <laughs> but I think we've covered everything. Oh, no, no, there was one more thing. Oh, yes, yeah, a reference to something else coming out. Adequate wordsmith. We've got a very Vegas-style thing here. I don't quite know what that means, if that means, uh, coming soon. So that's a reference to something else coming out. Uh, and that's a reference to the next, to the video I'm doing exclusively on Patreon, if you're seeing this screen here. Uh, anyway, all of that out of the way. That was incredible. Hope you guys enjoyed that. I sure as hell did. If you did, please like, share, comment, subscribe, do all the things to feed the algorithm to get more eyeballs onto these videos. Of course, please go check out the Stupendium's video without me yammering all over it. Link is in the description box below. Uh, go show them some love, like, subscribe if you don't already to them. And of course, if you want to see these movies, uh, movies, these videos, and help me out like these people over here do, you can subscribe to my Patreon at patreon.com slash insaneian, where you get to see these early, uh, get my own comedy and music early, and all sorts of other cool perks. Anyway, all of that out of the way. We'll see you next time. Thanks, everybody. Bye. Tungsten, Blumkin, Justin, Jism, Bustin, Dustin, Tustin, Tumblin, Dublin, Tukin, Tukey, Tunky, Tunky,
Chunky, chunky, tertiary, Timmy, Tulsa, Tatum, Tinkleberry. Oh, 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 Tibble, Fender, Tea Tree Oil, Tustin, Rainforest. 